And we start with breaking news tonight. Police shoot and kill a man in northeast Spokane. It happened near Esmeralda Golf Course, close to Cooper Elementary School. 4 News Now was the first on scene, and our crew is still out there right now. According to Spokane Police, this started with someone in the neighborhood reporting an armed suicidal man. Police say the man had two firearms. His friends were able to get one away from him. Witnesses told police it looked like the man was pointing his weapon towards them. Uh, police arrived shortly after, and that's when the shooting happened. Our Nikki Torres has all the information on this breaking news story you saw first on 4 News Now. Police told us this afternoon events happened very quickly from the time that the first call was made to 911 to when the man was shot by police. It was all a matter of 20 to 30 minutes in between. Now, Spokane police said that they saw the armed man, told him to drop his weapon, and he didn't. And they say it looked like he was in a shooting position, and that is when the police officer fired. It all happened near the neighborhood near Cooper Elementary School, and I spoke with several neighbors in this area, and each one of them tell me it's a really quiet neighborhood. There are a number of families who live around here and the most crime action they get is drivers speeding down the street. I talked with one man who was here on a job. He was delivering new cabinets to a woman's home and that's when he saw an officer just 15 feet away armed with a rifle. I was kind of shaken after the fact because you know I was just here doing a job and you know I just didn't think anything of it you know normally nine times out of ten officers get their guns out you know just just for safety for others and themselves, but you never expect for them to actually shoot somebody. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators are still working through specific details of what led up to the shooting. And the shooting is still under investigation. Police did recover a firearm at the scene, and body camera video was on and recording. Video will be evaluated along with other witnesses' statements. The man who was shot along with the officer have not been identified yet. This is a developing story. Stay with 4 News Now as we learn more. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Nikki Torres, 4 News Now.